going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Okay, so I had plenty of you request crocheted wedding dress patterns, okay? For those of you who are considering crocheting your wedding dress, whether that be now or in the far future, you're insane. I just want to say that right now. Um, that's a massive project, crocheting your own wedding dress, okay? So, I started looking for wedding dresses for this video, and then I stumbled across a couple more things, and I was like, hmm, let's just make a 50 wedding crochet ideas video, okay? So, we've got dresses, we've got bridal accessories, okay? We've got bouquets, we've got veils, okay? We've got lots of things in this video. So if you're having a wedding, either now or in the far, 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 far future, and you want to get started on crocheting your wedding dress to pass down to your children after you've gotten married or whatever, or even just some fun little accessories if you're not crazy enough to crochet your entire wedding dress, okay? Then this is the video for you. As always, everything I say will be listed in the description box below in the order that I said it, link to a paid or free video or written tutorial so that you can make whatever I'm showing you on the screen, okay? So for this video, we have four categories. We've got dresses, accessories, bouquets, and veils, okay? So uh, again, I'm gonna have them all separated out on the bottom, so if you just kind of want to skip to a certain section, if you're like, Paige, I am not crazy enough to crochet my wedding dress, but a veil is kind of interesting to me. Then you can kind of find it down here, click on it, and watch that section. Um, other than that, though, let's go ahead and jump right into our first category, which is dresses, okay? This is the biggest category and the most fun category, in my opinion. I loved looking up crochet dresses did not realize how many options you really have when you want to do this but we've got this simply stunning crochet wedding dress actually let me move over a little to the right so that i can put things right here um we've got this simply stunning crochet wedding dress okay and even this vintage wedding dress i really liked the vintage patterns for these there's some vintage wedding dresses and i think it's really really cute especially if you're not planning on using like a hand-me-down wedding dress like from your mom or anything like that um it's kind of cool like make your own vintage one you know um, then there's this boho wedding dress, very cute. Also, I think this picture reminds me of a twilight wedding, like literally in the middle of the woods, which good for you, girl, good for you. So we've got this maxi dress. I think it's called a maxi dress or, uh, maxi something. Yeah. Maxi dress by Evie. So you've got this one. And then if you kind of want to go into a little more of a vintage look, there's this long white wedding vintage dress, okay? I want to know, comment what number wedding dress is your favorite, even if you're not going to make it. I just want to know because my favorites, I think, are the vintage ones. Um, so, and then we've got this kind of um, lavender color wedding dress, which is super cute. I love the details. And then there's this vintage again, vintage wedding dress. I don't even think this is a wedding dress. This is just a dress. So this would be kind of cool for your, I don't know how weddings work, but I know there's like a ceremony and then there's like a reception. I think that's the part that comes after the wedding. Regardless, that's when wedding dresses usually end up getting a little more party-like. So if you want to crochet something for that, here's like a party-like wedding dress. Um, or this, this angel crochet, um, skirt pattern. If you kind of want like a two-piece dress kind of going on. Um, or even this wedding dress. Oh, love the bouquet. Love that it's long sleeved. Love that there's like a trail behind it. Super pretty. And then there's this. Okay, actually guess which one my favorite is. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So you have to guess which number listed in the description box, which number um, is my favorite out of all of these, depending on how I react. Okay, it's going to be hard. So there's this one, which kind of has like this open back look to it 
which is super cute or even this one which is laying down on carpet it's not really on a person but it's still freaking gorgeous okay i love the details going down the front and the details on the sleeves okay gorgeous 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 and then there's this one which again kind of like has a bell sleeve look with the open back but not really open it kind of got this stringy back look on it or if you kind of want this more i'm in the woods getting married i'm in a field getting married then there's this maxi dress one or this one's on a mannequin it's an awesome and stylish crocheted dress uh super cute long sleeve got some bell sleeves got a little swoop neck going on super cute uh, and then there's this this one says how to crochet a beginner wedding dress so i don't think that doesn't look like a beginner wedding dress but i think it's really cute regardless or even this white wedding dress this you know girl's holding her purple flowers super freaking cute I just love how creative everybody is with wedding dresses. And then there's this everlasting wedding dress crocheted. I love it. Or even this enchanting crocheted wedding dress. I love when things are described as enchanting because I feel like I'm in a storybook. So I love that. Um, or even this wedding dress. And this one is a crochet roundup of wedding dress patterns. So there are multiple within this little bundle that's all for dresses so let's go ahead and get right into the bouquet category okay so for accessories we're really just getting into bouquets which can also even be centerpieces if that's something that you want to do so i do have these lilac flowers if you want to kind of have if you want your flower girl to be throwing these down the aisle there's that's an option for you or you can even do this wrap that goes around a bouquet super sweet super like fine little tiny detail that like I don't know. I don't know. I never thought about that when it comes to a wedding. So I thought it was a cool little added detail. If you want something crochet, but you're not crazy enough to do a whole wedding dress. Um, and then you can crochet your flowers if you don't want real flowers, which is totally an option. I've seen this a lot of people's weddings on TikTok where they crocheted their flower bouquet, which I thought was adorable. You don't have to worry about them wilting. You don't have to worry about bees, which is like one of my biggest fears if I ever do get married outside in the warmer months and i'm holding a bouquet of flowers there is bound to be a bee that lands on those flowers okay and i'm really scared i would ruin the ceremony because bees freak me out and i just go running down the aisle and it would be over divorce so yeah if you're scared of bees like i am definitely crochet your bouquet so we've got this white one and then another white one and then here's this bundle of nine beautiful crochet wedding flower bouquets you can go take a look at those or even this bundle of wedding bouquet crochet patterns or these may roses or even this bundle is super adorable a lot of color a lot of different types of flowers this one is kind of like purple and blue and gives like fantasy romance if you're like a fantasy wedding that's cute um and then this one kind of gives like sad beige baby but like if that's your thing go for it it's not really mine but if neutral is your thing there you go um and then this one's kind of got these daisies yellows bright greens kind of bouquet vibe that's all for bouquets so let's go ahead and move into the accessory category bridal accessories so if you want a little additive to a dress or if you already have a dress and you're not planning on crocheting it but you kind of just want like a little added thing to it here's this lacy bridal shrug here's this one and then there's this one that kind of is like off the shoulder collarbone showing kind of shrug and then there's this kind of wrap with the flowers on the bottom super cute or even this lace wedding choker if you're a choker girl which is super cute i don't know if i've ever seen any wedding person have a choker if you have gotten married and wore a choker during your wedding let me know or there's this little accessory detail to the champagne glasses which i thought was super cute especially if it's just for the bride and groom like if you don't want to do it for everybody but just like a little bride and groom moment super cute um and then you can even make the garter that's gonna go on your thigh okay um you can crochet that super cute or you could even crochet the ring bearer pillow which is adorable but it's again it's just like little tiny details you can add into your wedding to be like i actually made that like that's kind of cool i don't know i feel like that's cool i never thought of doing this until you guys mentioned it and i had to research for this video um and then there's these crochet cuffs that you can do or even this hair flower kind of like pin barrette thing or another lace wedding choker 
or even a bridal clutch just for like the bachelorette party or something like that super cute um and then there's these fingerless kind of like glove added additions to your hands there's this one and there's this one and the last category we have is for veils so if you're like don't want to do a dress but i want to do more than just an accessory crochet your veil girl if you crochet crochet your veil these are so freaking pretty okay so there's this love is in the air veil adorable there's this um there's this really long one. Oh, i love this long one i love a long veil definitely gonna have a long veil um and then there's this lace chapel veil which is super cute super um detailed like lacy looking um and then there's this one which has details this one's covering her face it has details along the bottom which is super pretty and then there's this vintage one if you want to go vintage if you're having one of those vintage weddings or even this one which is super cute it's like pinned halfway through her hair and that one's crocheted too so you've got a couple of veil options and that is all we have for your perfect crocheted wedding okay i want to know if any of you are going to be crazy enough to do any of these please comment down below if there's a video that you want me to do that i haven't done before uh please comment the suggestion and i'll add it to the never ending list of videos that i'm trying to get through uh friendly reminder every picture you saw are, is on a pinterest board link down below you can go check it out follow it whatever um, if you want to see where like the original image was from that's where it's from and then if you want a link to a free or written or free or paid written or video tutorial for anything that I showed you just go down to the description box it's all listed there in the order that I said it okay even if you're not going to make one of these wedding dresses comment down below what number is your favorite because I am just so curious also like is this a crazy thing to do because in my mind I think it's kind of crazy to crochet your wedding dress but I've seen people do it before and I know that would be so cool especially like passed down like how cool would that be and it's like literally custom fit to you because you made it with your hands for your body so it's like perfect but let me know if I'm crazy or if this is crazy or if I'm not crazy okay but um yeah anyways other than that thanks for watching guys subscribe don't forget to subscribe bye